What's up? It's Dylan Tooby of Progressive Soccer. As some of you know, I've been going through some personal stuff, trying to get my whole life sorted out. But I just wanted to throw out a little video and get some momentum going so we can get back on this YouTube thing. Here are a few examples of some ways you can practice at home. If you're new to this channel, subscribe right now and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. If you're one of my longtime subscribers, thank you so much. Please remember to like and share on social media. The drills in this video are not demanding. They're not high intensity. And I want you to get in the habit of when you're at home, just playing with the ball, just getting more touches. If you're just chilling, you're just hanging out, maybe the TV's on in the background, why wouldn't you have the ball at your feet? You're not burning yourself out, it's not high intensity, you're getting repetitions, you're becoming a master of the ball. And the only way you're gonna do that is by getting in the habit of training at home. When you practice with your teammates, it's great. When you play in games, that's essential for your development. But when you're at home by yourself, you can take the time to get thousands, hopefully millions of touches over time and become an absolute master with the ball. So don't worry about high intensity, burning yourself out. There are times to do those things. What you wanna do at home is you wanna set up an environment that's always encouraging you to get touches on the ball. So make sure that soccer ball is hanging around, multiple balls around the house. You can do dribbling, you can juggle, just play with the ball caress it, move it in different ways, play passes. I like to play passes and work on my shooting technique against a couch or a wall. Get those touches, become a master of the ball. So as I said in this video, I just wanted to throw something out there, get the momentum going, more videos coming in the future. But please get in the habit of training at home, getting more touches, just having fun with the ball while you're just hanging out, doing what you usually do. If you want to change yourself, change your environment. So your environment can be simple things like your living arrangements, your lifestyle, the way you have your room set up. Is it encouraging you to get more touches, to be more ambitious? Your environment can also be the people that are around you. Are these people motivating you, encouraging you, or are they pulling you down and holding you back from your true potential? I want you to analyze your environment on all different levels. Think about your lifestyle. Think about the people that you hang out around with. Think about the things you do every day. Is it setting you up to become a better player or is it holding you back? Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please remember to give it a like and share on social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification and come back tomorrow. I just want to throw this video out there. Thank you for all the support over this hard time in my life. You guys are the best. I love you. Let's move forward. It's only the beginning.